Hello, welcome back to Larry's Furries, where you learn about animals and learn how to pronounce your teacher's name. So, it's today it's the last school day before, before Christmas, so we're fully in holiday mode. So, notice the picture on the, on the right hand side of the slide. This is an illustration from 1821 of Santa Claus riding in a reindeer pulled sleigh landing on a rooftop. So, so that common Christmas theme was already in existence way back then. And so that and so today we're going to study it, or rather we're going to study reindeer. Here we are, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Cordata, Class Mammalia. No surprises so far. We've seen a lot of animals that happen to be vertebrates and mammals. We <laughs> you probably could have could have recited th those ones off the off the top of your head by now before I even got to them. The order also might be familiar to you because we did it once before. Order Audiodactyla. So the so we we saw before that the that whales are, are members of of this order, but the more typical members are the hooved animals with even with the hooves consisting of even toed structures. So those are things like cows, sheep, camels, pigs and of course deer which is what we're doing dealing with today family servity or deer and today's deer is ranger for tyrannus the, the reindeer or caribou they're the same animal and here it is 64 to 84 inches long let's see how front, front to back height, height ground to shoulders about 33 to 59 inches Weight varies from 180 to 400 pounds. Uh, as in most mammals, females tend to be smaller, males somewhat bigger. Reindeer, like like pretty much all deer, are herbivores. They tend to eat lichens in the winter and uh, mixed vegetation, you know, whatever they can get, grasses and leaves and such in the summer. Uh, the, Reindeer are mostly either wild or semi-domestic animals. They, they differ based on what population we're looking at. And there are some populations that are more fully domesticated, but most, most are not considered truly domestic, but only semi-domestic. Right. And why do we have the two different terms? Well, they associate Reindeer and caribou are associated to different geographic regions. So the Eurasian populations are, are called reindeer. There's, you know, their, their habitat range is marked in red on the map here, whereas the North American animals are called caribou. And they have the very habitat marked in green, basically most of Alaska and Canada. So, these are, of course, referring to the wild populations. The domesticated animals are all de descended from the European stock. No, as, as a ge general rule of thumb, uh, the uh, indigenous peoples of uh, North America did not domesticate animals at all. They didn't have. They only acquired domestic animals when they started uh, interacting with the Europeans. You, you do have domestication in Central and South America and all the rest of the world, and so partic particular Europe, Europe and Asia. So the met, all the domestic reindeer are from are descended from those European stock, and so even on even on this side of the world, they're still called reindeer because that's what they are. <laughs> reindeer of no, notably. The, the only deer where both the males and the females have antlers. And the reason why is because they're, they don't just use their antlers for display or fighting the way that most other deer species do. They use them as tools, uh, sort of snow shuffles to get at food. You see, yeah, you see the uh, forward pro projection on the, uh, on the antlers of this reindeer picture. That's, the, that's your, show, your practical snow shuffling surface. <laughs> And another, another notable fact about reindeer is that well, some populations, not all of them, have seasonal migration patterns. Pretty much the only notable land animal to do that, uh, 
migratory behaviors are more common in, bird, in birds and in marine life. And of course, as I said, only some pop populations of reindeer and caribou migrate. Other, others tend to stay in place wherever they happen to live. And reindeer domestication is a is of particular note because it, although said, although Santa does flying sl sleigh pulled by magical reindeer is fiction. Uh, reindeer pulled sleighs do exist. Here's a picture of one. So rain with such as wide range of across the world. No surprise that reindeer were domesticated more than once, you know, independently in Scandinavia and in Siberia. The Scandinavian population, notably, are, are still a, one of the migratory reindeer populations, and the reindeer herders traditionally migrated themselves, traveling along with their animals. So these were really only semi-domesticated populations because the we well, the way, the uh, person didn't control the reindeer, the reindeer migrated where it naturally would, and the people traveled with them. So that's not really domestication as we think of it, although they certainly were used, used for meat and milk by the herders. In, in Siberia, you had more genuine domestication of reindeer, so the, the, so these populations are where reindeer, reindeer pulled sleds are most common. And of course, talk, talk a little about conservation. So reindeer, or, or ranger for Tarandus as a species, is not endangered, but mainly because it occupies so much of the world. You know, it's, it's, with such a big rate, range, so many populations, it can't be classified as endangered. It is noted as, vulner, as a vulnerable species. And, the International Union of Conservation of Nature lists because its populations have notably been declining worldwide. And, and if we look at individual subspecies, the local populations of, of, of reindeer and especially of North American caribou, you know, some, you know, these are in a lot less secure position. Se several of these subspecies are endangered. At least one is already known to be extinct. So, unlike a few of the last of the recent uh, videos that we've looked at, uh, reindeer are a situation, a species that of some environmental concern, although not as badly off as some Arctic species like polar bears, because reindeer are more more versatile. They can probably they probably won't be uh, driven out by global warming as much as by uh, other forms of uh, habitat losses as the uh, human populations expand and such. And you notice they, 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 they can adapt a little bit to a human presence. So we, so the, the photo here is of a couple of uh, well, North American caribou uh, li yeah, well, li licking road salt off of a road. Uh, animal, animals do sometimes uh, benefit by human activity. Alright, so that's what we need to know about the reindeer. They don't, they don't fly, but they're none, nonetheless uh, magical creatures to an extent, <laughs> and and plenty of information. I didn't have to go farther than Wikipedia, and we say we'll get plenty of uh, publicly available images, including uh, images generously posted by these noted authors. All right, so with that, with that, you know, Merry Christmas and to all a good night, or rather day, because we're in, we're ending class well, but, you know, well into well into the uh, early, early hours and on this final half day of school. So, so happy holidays.